Happy Saturday! This is Sherry Brandel from Style Tips with Sherry. And on today's episode, we're actually going to do something fun. You're going to get an exercise to do. Don't worry, it's not like go outside and run. Not that kind of exercise. I'm actually going to give you an exercise to do that you can figure out what your signature style statement is. So how did I come up with that? Well, about 10 years ago, I was shopping with a client and I walked into her home, beautiful home, just absolutely stunning, on the lake, gorgeous, you know, several million dollar home, just beautiful. And when I walked into her closet, I realized that the clothes that she had hanging in her closet didn't represent who her image was. And of course the house was was one thing, but the more I got to talking with her and realized that this woman was on the go, she was somebody who was on lots of boards and lots of charity events and and did did just all, traveled a lot with her family. It, when I looked at her clothes, it didn't line up with who she was as a person. And so I thought about that and I thought, you know, I was looking at her and we were talking and I'm, and I'm bold and I'm, I'll, I'll say what I'm thinking. And I said, you know, you are a wealthy, elegant woman. We need to dress you like that. And so 10 years later, still through these years, she will, will still look at me and we, and we all, we, we go back to that statement. She'll, she'll say, okay, wait. I'm a wealthy, elegant woman. I need to dress like that. This outfit doesn't work with that. So whether it was casual, whether it was, uh, um, you know, a dressy event, I always made sure that her clothes, as I was dressing her, labeled, like lined up with the, the phrase that I gave her. In fact, on that very first time that I shopped with her that 10 years ago, she tells the story that she remembers going home and telling, well, I left, she was already home, but when her husband got home from, from work, she said, Sherry said, I'm a wealthy, elegant woman. I need to dress like that. And her, her husband said, well, I'm a wealthy, elegant man. Will she take me shopping too? And so that's kind of been our long-standing joke over the years, but because I did take him shopping. But I, I, let me just back up a minute. When I looked at her closet, the clothes they didn't suit her style. They didn't suit her coloring. They they were they were more like what I would say. Maybe she shopped in the junior department. Although she had the figure, she could do that. Um, when you're a certain age, you shouldn't do that, right? Because the sh the clothes they weren't a better quality item. And so, so that's why I had to change her thinking and not that she had to get a lot of clothes, but she had to get fewer, better pieces. So last year, I, when we went to beauty boot camp, uh, and beauty boot camp is an annual event that I do every year in Myrtle beach. We have always helped women determine a, a kind of a phrase, kind of a, a tagline. So I always had these four clothing personalities that I would put people in. And so one was a pure natural, one was classic modern, one was style fashionista, and the other one was creative original. And just based on those names, you can probably think, huh, I resonate with, and maybe fill in the blank, maybe you love very natural fabrics and you love that um, you don't want to put on a lot of makeup. Putting on high heels is like torture to you. But um, you're you're somebody who's just, you love the outdoors and you don't really want to dress up a lot. You might fit into the pure natural category. On the other hand, somebody who is a classic modern just loves classic pieces. Think Ann Taylor, Banana Republic. Think uh, clothes that are more tailored. And um, just you like pearls and you like, you know, just classic accessories, that sort of thing. So you may fall into the classic modern category. A style fashionista is a trendsetter, somebody who doesn't mind wearing the latest trends, in fact, loves it and doesn't mind if any nobody else is wearing them. She can find things wherever she goes shopping, no matter what kind of store. She is going to come out looking fabulous. That's your friend who you think about and, 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 you, and it might be you, where you think, Oh my goodness, I love her style, but maybe I couldn't dress like that. 
all right? But she's like the trendsetter. And then you've got your creative original who is absolutely out of the box. You can't imagine, or maybe this is you, you just love wearing things that you would find vintage. Maybe you sew your own things. Maybe you put together patterns that are just out of the norm and wear pieces that others might think, oh, good gracious, I couldn't wear that, but you wear it beautifully. So those were the four that I had typically always put somebody in until last year when we went to beauty boot camp. I told my beauty boot camp partner, Donna, I said, I said, I've got a new thing. We're going to try something new this year at Beauty Boot Camp. So with the help of another CIC, we came up with this, this form called my signature style statement. And so you can go to my website and download it. Don't do it yet. I would say just kind of hold off, but maybe when this video is over, you're going to go to my website. We're going to put the website up right now so you can either write it down or you remember it's Fashion Meets. M-E-E-T-S, faith.com. And right there on the homepage, it says my signature style statement. You can download the worksheets and you can come up with your own signature style statement. But before you do that, I want to help you know how to maneuver those pages. All right. So when I was looking at this form and I thought, you know, I need to have a signature style statement because I have always put myself into the style fashionista category. And so I was going through this form and I'm going to show you right here. We have two forms. And so we have a word bank for you to work from. And we have a, and we have a regular sheet right here that has some, some statements on it. So um, it says at the top, there are three lines and it says, I am a, or an, depending on which, you know, word you use. And you want to have three words. So I want you to pick two adjectives and one noun. And I honestly think right now, well, we are quarantining in, in house and maybe you're watching this later and we're, we're past quarantine. But if you're watching this right here with me in, in, in spring 2020, you know, we're still being quarantined. And so I really think that this is something that while we are at home, this is a really fun thing to kind of think about because maybe you don't have a personal shopper. Maybe you don't have a personal stylist, somebody to take you shopping, or maybe you do and they've always just put you in certain clothes. This way you can actually think about how do I want to be perceived? And so I want you to come up with the two adjectives and one noun. All right, and then just for a little more kind of if you want to work through it a little bit, you can fill in the, the, the blanks at the bottom, like the sentences where it says, I want to be perceived as, and just kind of think about how do you want to be perceived? And you can do that from the word bank. You can go over there and just circle some of these words. So we've got adjectives on one side and nouns on the other. All right. So another thing that's on here, I want to wear clothes that make me feel like fill in the blank. I want to combine outfits that tell the world I am, fill in the blank. I want to look in the mirror and see myself as, and fill in the blank. So when I was doing this, I looked through this and I thought, you know, how do I want to be perceived? Now, here's another thing. You guys, you don't have to tell anybody the, the, the statement you came up with. I would love it if you would post it maybe below in the comments once you come up with something. I would love it. But if you don't want to share it, that's absolutely okay. Because when I came up with my, my words, I thought, oh, I, I, I don't want to I don't think I want to tell people because I didn't want people to think, oh, who does she think she is? You know what I mean? But, but I'll tell you, here's what's great about this is that when you are buying clothes, you want to test every purchase against your signature style statement. And if something doesn't fly, you know, if it doesn't line up, then you put it back. And so for me, I picked, in fact, it's interesting because I, I, I struggled like, oh, do I tell them this? But I, I, my first two, my adjectives were fine. It was the noun that I struggled with 
because one, I felt confident telling you, oh yeah, this is what I do. The second one, which is really how I want to be perceived, and I'm being completely vulnerable here, I thought, if they, if they, if I say that, they're gonna think, like I said, who she thinks she is, right? But this is how I test my clothing purchases and how I want to portray, like be portrayed to others when I walk on a stage, when I'm speaking, when I am in front of you, when I'm doing a YouTube video. But let me tell you what my word, my words were. My two adjectives that I picked were dynamic and fashionable. I'm in the fashion business and so, and I wanna be dynamic. I don't wanna wear plain Jane clothes. I wanna be, I, 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 I wanna be dynamic. So if I were gonna, if I'm gonna go choose a new accessory, am I gonna get something that's a tiny little necklace or am I gonna get something that's more dynamic? You see what I, you see what I mean? See where I'm going? And then my noun, I, I, I picked, I went, oh, that's the one. And then that's when I thought, oh, I can't tell them that, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So, so I went to a second one. The second one was dynamic, fashionable, confidence builder because I hope that's what I am to you. I hope that I build confidence in you, that you can go out and do things on your own. You can dress yourself, you can choose clothes wisely, you can do a capsule wardrobe wisely. But what I really wanted to put was dynamic, fashionable powerhouse, because I wanna be a powerhouse. I wanna be a powerhouse in my business. I wanna be a powerhouse for you. And so for me, it's going to be dynamic, fashionable, powerhouse, confidence builder. So if you want to have two nouns, you absolutely can. All right, so I'm going to give you two more examples of some women. Actually, let me give you three examples because I think it will help you in choosing your words. And when you go down your word bank, I don't want you to think I don't want you to think, overthink it. I don't want you to think too hard. Just like I did with the with the whole powerhouse thing. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can say that. Because remember, it's not like you're telling people this. You're just testing your, your outer appearance against those words. So when you go down the list, I just want you to start circling. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Right? And then you're going to go back and work on this and start filling things in and think, okay, this is this is the one. These are the two words I love. This, the adjectives, these are the nouns that I love. And then you're gonna pick one, all right, or two, like in my case. All right, so I'm gonna give you examples of, uh, well, I already gave you one example of, of my friend who I said, wealthy, elegant woman. And here's what's interesting. At Beauty Boot Camp, she came to Beauty Boot Camp and she said, you know, and we were doing this exercise. And she thought, you know, I, I wonder if I'm going to change that because she was thinking, you know what? I might, I might, I might change my word. And then when she came back, she said, when we came out of our exercise, she said, you know what? I decided to keep that because wealthy doesn't mean to me what it did 10 years ago, but it means different now. Wealthy in that I'm, I have an amazing family. I have my health. I'm also a, um, a, a, a philanthropist. I can't even say this word, a philanthropist. Did I say that right? I don't know, I think so. But she she gives a lot and she gives of her time and she gives of her money. So it meant different, but she was still keeping the phrase. So her phrase evolved and yours can too. Um, to give you an example. One, I worked with a women's ministry leader and pastor she and she was she's a, a a pastor at her church but she was she's also the pastor's wife and so i worked with her last fall and when i went in to do her closet and after she and i had gotten to know each other and i always walk people through just we we talk first and we, we i i i'm going to sit with you if if you're one of my clients and i'm going to really um, just help you. I'm, I'm going to learn about you and I'm going to see what do you do? How, do, what, what are your loves? What are you, I'm, I'm going to learn about you. So after doing that and then spending some time in her home, cause that's where we did our first appointment. And then we walked through this, through this, she came up with joyful Vogue pace setter. I love that because here's the thing. She didn't want to say pastor. She didn't want to say educator she could have used all kinds of words but she wants to lead the way 
in her church, in her community. All right, so that's where pace setter came into play. Her, her adjectives were joyful and vogue. Vogue meaning stylish, like a cut above stylish, right? And then joyful was when she gets on stage or when she's in front of people, whether it's her, the women in her church or, or a whole congregation on Sunday or whether she's speaking somewhere else, she wants people to think of her as joyful. Well, the problem with that is that when I went into her closet after we had our sit down and we determined what her words were going to be, I walked into her closet and pretty much 75% of her closet was black. Now, black was a decent color for her. It wasn't bad. The problem is if she's going to wear black on stage yet, she wants people to think of her as joyful. We needed to brighten up her colors. So I think it's going to be fun for you when you pick your, your words and then you go into your closet and you think, is this kind of, does this relate? Right? Okay. So the next one I want to tell you about is a mom and she was a mom or is a mom of, I think three children, three or four, and they weren't around when I was there. And her husband um, was is is busy working, and he was he's military, and so they were you know he's not around a lot, and when he is, she's you know with the kids and or, or they're doing family things, but she had some things she needed to really get through, and so when we were working on this, I I said okay, so let's come up and. Um, she had some things in her past she needed to get over and it was and to, to work through. And a lot of times, you guys, a lot of things that are happening in inner inside are happening, um, are, are maybe what's the word I want to use? They're showing up in your clothes or your lack of thought of your clothes. And so maybe you're just buying things because they're on sale or whatever. And so when we worked, when I worked with her, she came up with joy filled, confident, legacy maker because she wanted to change the trajectory of how she was how she was leading her family and her children and so she didn't want her girls to go through what she had gone through or even have the thought the, the low self-esteem and that sort of thing and i loved this and so when we went into her closet afterwards when she and i went in we were able to say, is, does this suit you? Or does this look like a legacy maker? Nope. Does this look, and maybe it was, maybe it just wasn't, maybe it was just old. And she had hung on to some things for too long. And so it was just such a fun exercise because you could really just hold everything up and compare it to, to, to what your, your style statement is. So now I'm going to recommend that you go to my website and download that worksheet and just have some fun on this Saturday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. And then in the comment below, tell me what are your three words? What is your style statement? And I just think that it is going to be something that you're going to be able to really kind of hold on to and say, you know what, when I come out of this whole quarantine thing, I'm going to make sure that I represent to the world who I really am. So go have fun with it. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, why not? Please sign up, register. Well, what do you call it? Subscribe to the channel because we have fun here. And then you get a little bell when I have new videos come out. So they are out every Saturday, but I keep thinking, huh, oh, maybe we should do a few extra sometime. But anyway, make sure that you do that. Go to my website, download that worksheet and have fun. And from me to you, I hope that you just have an amazing week. Bye. See you next time.